So Sarang, uh, let me ask you a couple of questions on SAP. So what is the T code to create a GL master? Uh, T code to create GL master, you have to go to uh, F00. That's the T code. Okay, F00? FFSL00. Can you tell again? F? FS00. FF00, okay. So when you try to create a GL account, yes. what all things you input there? Like, uh, first of all, you have to know what kind of account you want to create in PNL or uh, in balance sheet. Do you want, uh, like, uh, you want to open, use to use open item management or not? What kind of currency you want for that uh, account? Like this kind of basic uh, information. You need. Okay. So in your GL master, there is a field called currency. Yes. Right. So this currency is a chart of account level or company code level? Uh, the currency of that GL account. Is it maintained at chart of account level or G, uh, company code level? Well, it maintained on uh, company code level. Okay, so what is chart of account level data of a GL master? Well, uh, chart of level uh, level data means like it's uh, it's account or information maintained on oh, entire the SAP system of the like entire SAP system. Okay. And uh, the level like a lower level you can say the company so code level. In, in in GL master yes what fields are maintained at chart of account the fields like uh, what data is maintained at chart of account level in GL master like a general information information like uh, open item it's open item or not that is chart of account level open item uh, I think so yes uh, it is company code level so uh, if you created a GL account as an open item and you have done posting into it, yes. right? now you want to uh, remove that open item management. Is that allowed? Uh, no, it's not allowed. Why is it not allowed? Well, uh, you, uh, SAP doesn't allow this okay. to, like, to stop any kind of mismanagement or like that. Okay. So uh, let's move ahead. I'm going to ask you a couple of more questions. So have you heard about foreign currency valuation? Yes. So can you tell me what exactly is foreign currency? What is the purpose? No, the purpose of foreign currency valuation is to uh, calculate net position valuation of open item management, open items in balance sheets. Okay. And can you explain me with example what exactly it is? Uh, well, uh, let's example, uh, like let's say a vendor pays in uh, USD and his payment is coming, let's say two months later. But the fluctuation of currency is happening every day and you have to record the fluctuation at the end of the month. And that's the time when you we, uh, we use this uh, foreign currency valuation. So in SAP, what is the T code for uh, foreign currency valuation? Uh, foreign currency valuation like to maintain. Yeah, what is the T code? OB08. OB08 for foreign currency valuation? Yes, OB08. Okay, but OB08 is for exchange rate maintenance. Yeah. To maintain exchange rate, yeah. then you use OB08, right? So, foreign currency valuation T code should be different. No, so like uh, F03. Oh, okay. In the document in the header section, what all fields is there? Uh, in what? In, in document. In finance document header, what fields you find? Well, uh, first, uh, document number, document date, posting date, posting period. Uh, reference and header, uh, the currency uh, in uh, in uh, document type uh, settings configuration. But uh, so in line item, what fields are there? In line item, there are multiple fields like posting key, uh, the account number, uh, then uh, text, like different kinds of uh, fields okay. are there. So let's say I have a GL account and uh, while posting the GL account, I want to make text as mandatory. In line item? In GL master, in GL account line item, I want to make a field as mandatory. Yes. So where can I do that? Well, you have to go to field status variant and in that you have to uh, make uh, certain changes. Okay. To make which field mandatory and you have to assign that uh, field status variant to that specific account. Variant or group? For the group, you have to assign that group to that GL account. Okay, so you have to make changes in the status group. Yeah, in specific with status group. Okay, and uh, let's say uh, I have a GL account, okay, and which is being used by business. They are doing transactions, 
and uh, they have entered something wrong and they want to correct it. OK, one document they have posted. The document is incorrect, right? How do they correct it? Uh, well, uh, they had to reverse uh, the document. A specific okay. document which they done wrong. OK, after that. Well, after that, they had to correct the uh, proper document. OK, they have to post a correct document. Yeah, so they had to and post. how to reverse? Well, they had to use decode FS08. FS08. Or FD08. FD08. OK. And uh, if my document has a cleared item, it's cleared or yeah. If my document has a cleared item, yes. Is it possible to reverse it? No, you cannot reverse it. By any way, I cannot reverse well, it. Well, uh, you had to use uh, T code FBRA to first of all reset the clear item mm -hmm. that makes it uh, make that specific item open, and then you can reverse it. Okay. Okay. And do you know about ledgers? Yes. Okay, which ledger is used for group reporting? A uh, leading ledger is for is used for group reporting. And uh, is there any code for it? Uh, zero L. And who creates this zero L? SAP creates it. Okay. And what is the purpose of non-leading ledger? Uh, the purpose of non-leading ledger is to uh, report uh, the like record of that company to the local authorities. Okay. So you need a separate ledger. Yeah, you need a separate ledger. It's called non-leading ledger. Okay. If I want to post a document only in a particular ledger, is it possible? Uh, yes. How? Well, uh, you had to use a T code FB50 and you had to put L in it. FB50L or FB1, uh, FB01L. Okay. So that L is for ledger. Yeah, specific, yes. Yeah. Ledger specific. And then you had to say in which ledger you had to post that. Okay. So if my let's say uh, foreign currency evaluation, there is some exchange rate gain yes. and system is posting it. Yeah. Okay. So will it go to all the ledgers or will it go to only leading ledger? Like uh, in foreign currency evaluation. At month end, like you said, at month end we do foreign currency evaluation. Yeah. System calculates the exchange rate gain and loss, whatever comes yeah. that is posted. Yeah. Right. So is this posting going to a particular ledger or it will go to all the ledgers? Well, it goes to the all the ledgers. Are you sure? Oh uh, yes, because uh, you don't specifically mention any ledger uh, in that post. But we are giving valuation area. While running the foreign currency valuation, you're giving valuation area, and valuation area is connected with ledger. Valuation area is connected with ledger, right? Okay. So that oh, yes, valuation yes. is happening for a particular particular uh, yes, ledger okay, for okay. a particular ledger. Yeah, well, right. Yeah. Yes. So foreign currency evaluation is run for a particular ledger, right? Okay. As per particular law. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. And uh, so once your foreign currency evaluation is posted, what yes. happens next? Because this is unrealized, right? Yes. Then uh, the in in that uh, specific set of programs, it posts that uh, entry in uh, the last day of the month, and in the next posting uh, next day, it just reverses it. Okay. So do you manually reverse it, or is it what is a bad job? A uh, bad job is a basically a scheduled program which is run in a specific time. Uh, there is a word called variant, job variant. Yes. Can you explain me what is the meaning of job variant? Uh, well, uh, basically in job variants, uh, the SAP users uh, set specific uh, templates in a way uh, to the specific accounts. So whenever like uh, they don't have to repeat entire process again, they just uh, use that uh, specific uh, programs they are, that they already set. You mean parameters? Yeah, like parameters. Parameters for running the program. Yes. Okay. We create and we save it once. We use it every time. Yes. Okay. Okay. What is the default exchange rate type which is used for document posting? Uh, the default rate is M. M. And if I want to use a different rate type. How can I do it? Well, you have to uh, go to the configuration of a document type and in that you have to set uh, the type that you want to use. Okay. What exactly is exchange rate type? Well, basically exchange rate uh, type is like uh, there are uh, different needs of a, a business like sometimes the, there might be a chance that uh, that specific company might be using uh, a bank or something uh, like intermediary and they are taking some uh, percentage of cut and they had to calculate all of that. So all of these things are maintained in uh, currency rate time. 
if i have two different company codes okay gl uh, both company codes belong to same chart of account they are connected with same chart of account if i create a gl account in one company code will that be created in other automatically and uh, no not exactly well uh, the thing that happen is you had to extend that uh, chart of account level uh, account to the company code level account okay company level good okay so tell me what is uh, fiscal year variant well fiscal year variant is basically uh, all the posting period variant uh, all the posting periods exist in that uh, specific uh, year like uh, it also includes uh, normal uh, year uh, peri- normal posting periods and special posting periods okay how many normal periods are there uh, the normal periods are basically 12 and usually special uh, special uh, posting periods are like four okay. if i created a gl account okay and uh, that has let's say field status group assigned yes okay and i make changes to the field status group some setting changes i made yes what will be the impact on other gl accounts well uh, the thing is uh, whoever that uh, specific uh, field status variant is a uh, field status group is assigned all the changes going to happen to the all the account that are connected like which field is mandatory or suppress uh, that effect is going to happen to the all the gl account okay so few examples of document type uh like uh, a vendor invoice and what is the document type for it dr okay go ahead and customer invoice which is uh, dz and asset acquisition which is aa what is document type sa a uh, asset sa what is the document type it's uh, it's for a gl account okay gl account posting yeah gl account posting and sarang uh, seems like you have good technical knowledge okay what is your hobby what you do normally well uh, i like to watch uh, the different kinds of podcasts i like to learn about uh, history from youtube and yeah. so recently uh, what historical things you have been reading well i'm not reading i actually watch it on youtube like there are different kinds of uh, material available like uh, like a ro- Roman uh, Roman era period like Napoleonic period. Okay, you have interest in this? Yes. Okay. Good. Recently, uh, one place in India, right, got shortlisted for, or let's say, it has been nominated in uh, Wonders of World. Right. Tell me, do you know about this? Uh, I don't know exactly about. This. Okay. No problem. So, Sarang. Uh, say uh, according to you if we hire you once you join this company right what is going to be your first one month uh, target or let's say what challenges you are going to face well uh, i think the first challenge i'm going to face as a fresher is to get used to the uh, uh, like a job culture and uh, the thing i'm going to do is like uh, learn about uh, communication skill and try to learn as much about the company as possible and their business activities Okay. Okay, Sarang. I think I'm good. And do you have any question to ask? Uh, well, um, I want to ask like, uh, on what things I should improve on to fit for this company. So, Sagar, uh, right now I cannot comment on that because since we are doing an informal interview, and uh, I would like to give you just uh, uh, the the things that we are looking for in a candidate. So, I'm looking for basically someone who has uh, basics, right? Right. and should we have should have a good communication skill okay and confident enough to and there should be a learning attitude right we understand that fresher doesn't know much and he has to learn everything we are ready for that but we want someone who can learn right so that is the thing we are looking for and uh, regarding your interview our achar will get back to you okay right thank you sir thank you sir.